Character Functions and Date Functions. In this lesson, we are going to discuss string and date functions in Oracle SQL. First, we will discuss case manipulation functions. Case manipulation functions are used to change the style of the characters. Let's see the different types of case manipulation functions. First, let's see the initCap function. Initcap function returns words with the first letter in uppercase and all the other characters in lowercase. Here is the syntax. We can specify any expression or column name in this function. Now, let's see how to use this function in a select statement. Select initcap name, names with initcap, from details. This statement displays all the names with the initial character in uppercase from the table details. Next we will see the functions ASCII and char. ASCII function returns the ASCII value of a character, and the function char returns a character for the corresponding ASCII value. Here is the syntax for these two functions. Here, ASCII function returns the ASCII value of the character x, and the char function returns the character with the ASCII value of x. Have a look at this statement, which uses these functions. In this statement, we have given the character a for the input to the function ASCII. So the output of this function shows the ASCII value of the character a is 65. ASCII values differ for lowercase letters. Here we have used an uppercase letter. In the char function, we have given the input as 65. So this function returns the letter a in the result. I hope this statement helps you to understand the functions of ASCII and char. Now we will discuss the functions to change characters to upper and lower cases. To do this, we're going to use upper and lower functions in the SELECT statement. See this statement. SELECT UPPER NAME NAMES IN UPPER CASE LOWER NAME NAMES IN LOWER CASE FROM DETAILS. This statement returns the names of all persons from the details table with uppercase and lowercase. Here we have discussed case manipulation functions. Now we're going to discuss character manipulation functions. First, we will see the length function. This function returns the length of the string. The syntax is length string. Here we will discuss the way to use length function in a select statement. Type the statement select length wings from dual and press enter to proceed. This statement gives the length of the string wings in the output. Let's see the substring and instring functions. First, we will see the substring function. Substring function will return the portion of the string from a string or from the value of a column. The general syntax is In this syntax, we can specify the column name or any string. Here we have to specify the start value. It specifies the starting position of the string to be extracted. Then we will have to specify the number of characters to be extracted from the start position. Now we will see the statement with the substring function. Select substring department name 1 5 from department. In this statement we have given the input to the substring function as department name and the starting position as 1 and the number of characters as 5. So this function extracts the first five characters of department name in all rows from the table department. Let's see the operation of the instring function. The instring function returns the total occurrence of a character in a string. Let's see the syntax of the instring function. In this syntax, we have to specify the column name or string with the character to check and the start position for the search. It searches a character in the expression from the start position. Have a look at this statement for clear understanding. Type select in string wings s1 from dual and press enter to proceed. This statement returns the 
occurrence of the character S in the string wings. It starts the count from the first character because we have given the start position as 1, so it begins the search from the first position. We will see the remaining functions in the upcoming section. extracts the first five characters of department name in all rows from the table department. Let's see the operation of the in-string function. The in-string function returns the total occurrence of a character in a string. Let's see the syntax of the in-string function. In this syntax, we have to specify the column name or string with the character to check, and the start position for the search. It searches a character in the expression from the start position. Have a look at this statement for clear understanding. Type select in string wings s1 from dual and press enter to proceed. This statement returns the total occurrence of the character s in the string wings. It starts the count from the first character because we have given the start position as 1, so it begins the search from the first position. We will see the remaining functions in the upcoming section. Here we will see the remaining types of character manipulation functions. Let's resume our discussion in character manipulation function with LPAD and RPAD. These two functions are used to pad a character at the left and right side of the string. In LPAD, padded to length n with a character. RPAD is similar to LPAD, but it pads the character in the right side. Here is the syntax for both these functions. In this syntax, if the padding character is left out, a space will be used as a default. See this statement to understand the operations of LPAD and RPAD. L10 pound from emp. This statement displays the salary with 10 digits and in the right and left in a justified manner, and the remaining digits are filled with the characters dollar and pound. I hope you now understand the functions LPAD. The trim function is used to trim the heading or trailing character from a character string. Let's see the syntax. In this syntax, we can specify any one of the options. This option trims the specific character from the left side. Next, trailing. This option trims a specific character from the right side. And finally, if we give the option both, it trims a character from both sides. Here we will see the statement to trim a character from the string, W from wings, from details. This statement trims the character W from the string wings. Because we have not specified any option in the trim function, it takes the leading as default and it removes the leading character from the name. In this section, we have learned the functions for changing the styles of a string and the functions to manipulate the characters. Here we are going to learn the conversion functions available in SQL. These functions are used to convert value from one data type to another. First, let's discuss the function toChar. This function is used to convert number, varchar2, date, and other data types to a character data type. Here is the syntax. format. Here we have used the date in the toChar function. This function converts date, timestamp, and other date-related data type values to varchar2 data types by the format specified in the function. If we don't specify any format, the date is converted into varchar2 type value is converted into a value in the default date format. Have a look at this statement. This statement displays the current time in the specified format. We will discuss the different formats later in this lesson. 
Here we have studied the way to convert numbers to char converts a character value to a number value. To number. This function converts a string to a number. The syntax for the to number function is In this syntax, string 1 is the string that will be converted to a number. Format mask is optional. This is the format that will be to a number. NLS language is optional. This is the NLS language used to convert string 1 to a number. Here we will see a statement to convert a string to a number using this function. Select to number 903.43 from dual and press enter. Now this statement converts the above value to a number type. Likewise, we can convert a value to a number data type. Date functions. In this section, we are going to concentrate on the date function. Generally, all date functions operate on Oracle dates, and all date functions return a value of date except the month between function. This function returns the numeric value as months between the two months. First, we will see the function toDate. Here is the syntax of the toDate function. toDate string format. This function returns a character string representing the given date in any one format. Here are the different formats. Now see this statement. Select to date, sys date, dd, mon, yy, yy from dual. In this statement, we have used the to date function. This function will return the current date to the specified format. Here we have given the format as number of days in a month, month with three letters, and four digits of year. So this statement displays the date in this format. Let's see the months between function. This function takes two dates as input parameters and returns the number of months between those dates as output. Let's see the syntax of the months between function. Months between date 1, date 2. This statement returns the months between the dates, date 1 and date 2. See this statement. Select months between 10 March 2002, 10 Jan 1999 from dual. In this statement, we have used the months between function between two dates, so this function returns the number of months between these two dates as 38. Now we will discuss the add months function. This function adds n number of months to the specified date. Here is the syntax. Add months date comma n. Here n number of months is added to the date. Have a look at this statement. Select add months and comma 10 from dual. In this statement, we have added 10 months to the date, so it returns the date after 10 months. Now we will discuss the next day and last day functions. The next day function returns the date of the specified next day in a week. Here is the syntax. Next day, date, comma, char. In this syntax, the value of char may be a character string representing a day. Look at this statement. Select next day, 01 Jan 2000, comma, mon, from dual. This statement returns a date of the next Monday in that week. Last day function will return a last date of the month. See this syntax. Last day, date. In this syntax, we can give any date. It returns the last day of the month specified.